What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to talk about From in this video here today. From Season 3 is official. It has been confirmed and I'll be going over some juicy details about the upcoming season, how many episodes it will be, and some brief plot details that are known thanks to the now newly announced season and the press release that has officially come out. Now that the embargo has lifted, I can share that MGM Plus has officially announced that the renewal of from is is going forward for a third season the season will be 10 episodes and we know it will continue to unravel the mystery of his nightmarish town that traps all who enter it uh here are some plot details for the from the or for the upcoming third season in from in the wake of season two's epic cliffhanger escape will become a tantalizing a very real possibility as the true nature of the town comes into focus and the townspeople go on offense against the myriad horrors surrounding them the series is set to return in 2024 so there you have it everything that had previously been reported was true to some degree because there were just hurdles preventing anything that was being reported from being made official because MGM was holding off until just now. Season 3 was reported to be on the way before 2 had even aired and Nova Scotia news outlets actually backed up those reports. Production Weekly listed that filming would begin sometime in July and it actually recently changed to being on halt due to the writer's strike but filming is still marked to begin mid-July and will continue through the rest of the year. We'll see how true that ends up being. Jack Bender recently told Telltale TV that season 3 was being carved out and that the first few scripts were written when the strike happened but not enough was ready to the point that they felt that they could start and not have to stop now that interview with Jack Bender from Telltale TV was earlier this month so I'm curious how much of this statement was him just trying to not tell us the full truth or if season 3 filming will shoot what's written before taking another pause because that's I guess a possibility and will the writers even be on set who knows but my prediction for season season three's release is sometime in the fall of next year or summer 2024 assuming the other looming strike doesn't cause any problems regardless from season three is coming it always was and the season itself seems to be hopefully the season of answers i would like to be able to look back on from season three as a season of answers and that's just the feeling i'm getting based off of the brief details that have been shared in this uh press release about the season i need to know more about the talisman uh tab of the status since she managed to escape more details on victor his family more donna please is the town in any way a government experiment the way people seem to think what the hell is going on season three just needs to be that balance be a balance between its compelling melodrama that i'd say works enough for season two even though again season two is a dip in quality it needs to be able to balance that with substantial plot progressions related to the mystery i can trust that our writers do still have a plan and know what they are doing but i just do not want the journey to become such a mess due to too many questions being raised instead of distributing answers because you can know what you want to do but you might not execute it all the right ways if you don't have the best plan in mind but again i'm gonna let them cook i'm gonna trust the process and we'll see what season three has to offer now harold perino had recently stated this about from season three's lack of renewal at the time with tv insider he said here's the thing i have no updates because i think none of us know the deal that is that what the deal is with this writer strike and you know i applaud them for fighting for what they need and i support them and all of that so i am down with them for whatever my truth is i hope that we come to some kind of resolution because we'd all like to get back to work now we haven't got an official pickup they have now <laughs> but it's assumed that we will go back as soon as all of this calms down we've been very successful and the show keeps picking up steam we are definitely like the little show that could i'm literally getting calls from people who i haven't talked to in years and they're like yo i just saw your show and so i'm really excited about that literally i was on the phone yesterday with alec baldwin who i did the edge with years ago and he called me up because he and scott mccord are working on something when your friends from back in the day are calling like something's happening so i'm pretty sure we'll get picked up i don't know exactly when since we really have to wait for all this other stuff to play out and then I'm sure we'll get right back at it, you know, hit it full steam. Now, I'm very glad that Harold's talent will continue to shine in from season three with the character of Boyd and wherever new, whatever new journey awaits Boyd in the upcoming season. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below what do you think will go down in from season three. Does this announcement excite you? Does it not excite you? Does the brief bit of details about the upcoming season have you leaning in the same direction that I am that from season three might end up being 
the season of answers. Not that everything will be resolved, because if they intend to maybe, let's say, go for about another two or couple more seasons after season three, just at least start answering some of the questions that have been posed since season one. And I get the side of the fandom that also is like, oh, these people that don't they don't want to trust the process. They don't understand what a slow burn is. You have to keep in mind, I really don't think that it's all coming down to people not understanding what a slow burn is. You also have to recognize that there have been countless popular shows over the years. One in particular I am going to name like Pretty Little Liars who have done stuff like this, telling you to trust the process, appreciate the slow burn. All your answers are coming and then everything is so half-baked cookie cutter by the end of it all. You're like, okay, we shouldn't even trusted that process. The writers are full of shit. We don't want to see anything else from these people ever again. I don't want to see that happen with From. I'm going to still continue to give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll have to see what they're cooking for us in season three. I trust that we will not end up in a situation like Pretty Little Liars because it's not all about people just not wanting to deal with the slow burn you can deal with a slow burn if you are successfully being given reasons to continue to commit to said slow burn and i just think season two dropped the ball in a lot of ways for people that feel they shouldn't keep on watching a lot of people again like myself carrying on some trauma from from past shows that's not to say that it's this show's fault but we just don't want to see that same outcome happen with this show like we have in the past because we've been burned before it's like an old lover <laughs> you don't want to open your heart again uh to something new potentially that could also harm you so hopefully with from season three they are able to pick it up right where they left off at the end of season two with tabitha who presumably it's safe to assume is out of the clutches of where she was and we'll have to see how she'll be able to get in contact with jim ethan julie uh the rest of her family <laughs> in fromville i guess is what the t the titular name of it is amongst the fandom and hopefully everything will start to become more cohesive we get to learn more about these creatures and get the full bigger picture in terms of what direction they might want to take the series in the potential season four or five you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video